so in the last video we configured the IntelliJ IDEA IDE now let's create our first project our bare first project and uh, we already know that the usual projects that uh, anyone creates during the first uh, inception towards uh, any programming language is obviously the hello world so let's get started creating a hello world project so let me go and click on create a new project and uh, based on your IntelliJ IDEA IDE uh, you're gonna have uh, you know as many options as these or as little as one two three based on whether you're running an ultimate or uh, the other version of IntelliJ IDEA which is free however I'm running the ultimate so I'm, I'm having all these options handy with my uh, you know left hand side pane so let's get started by choosing Java click on next and then I'm not going to choose anything because I want to show everything from scratch uh, so let me just click on next and then it's asking me where the projects need to be created uh, for that let me just create a new folder in my desktop and you may wish to create wherever you want to uh, I'll just say Java projects and uh, let me just copy this and paste it up in here and then make sure that you know your name in the project should not have any space and I you know I wish to just rename this as well so you know sometimes if you give any spaces in between it might cause some issues so I, I you know I prefer not to have any space so I'm just uh, replacing that name and let let there be no spaces because there could be potential errors because of uh, the project locations however right th right at this point it's going to be Java projects and uh, let me just rename it to hello world alright now the project name is hello world located inside the Java projects directory and let me just uh, and you have more settings if you wish to see but I don't want to do anything with this let me click on finish and now the tip of the day is shown where you know it gives a lot of tips and it's worthwhile if you have the time to read at this point I don't want to read everything so I'll just click on close and uh, you know let's wait for this indexing to get completed so you know just a moment from now got it and you see that <coughs> this is shown Java projects hello world and then there is a SRC folder I dot idea folder dot hello world dot IML um, so yeah let's create our first uh, project by right clicking and you have fair amount of options here which might overwhelm, overwhelm you at this point however let's get going by creating a new Java class you don't have to worry way too much about what is known as learning a class because uh, we'll, exp we'll be exploring it in the further upcoming videos so you know let me give it some name and preferably I give it an uppercase here because I want to keep uppercase for naming the class uh, I'll just say hello sample and click on OK. Now, so the moment I said OK, there's this new file called hello sample.java, which is located inside the SRC file. And then here we have some documentation. It says created by Rakshat. And if you don't wish to see this, you, you may choose to delete them off. And then here it is public class hello sample. All right now to get it started to print hello world we need to do this whether you want to do hello world or whether you want to do anything in Java you need to have to type this public static s-t-a-t-i-c void main and then you need to open and close and say s T R I N G string open and close 
ARGS arcs. And then notice that this is a square bracket and you might be wondering what is this public, what is static, what is wide, what is mean. However, we are not worried about that at this point. And then I'll open a curly brace and then as you also type this, the IntelliJ would have suggested to close it as well by automatically adding a closing brace. And you need to be pretty careful while you are uh, you know typing this because you might run into typing something like this which is you know the same meaning public public but P was a uh, uppercase P is an uppercase here and previously P was a lowercase so make sure you are taking care about the uh, case sensitivities and then here let us do something let us say uh, you know S again with a capital system as we are trying to type system you must have noticed by this uh, by this point that uh, the IDE IntelliJ IDEA is suggesting us with whatever we wish to type so I wish to type system so let me double click on system dot out dot print line P R I N T L N print and and you see this uh, there's when I say print ln it, it it's coming up with option right and then here I may type whatever I want to display so I'll type hello world now if I do this it is providing me an option to type whatever I want to type and that's it this is as simple as it could get you know you just went on creating hello sample uh, dot java file and then we have public system wide main sorry public static wide main and then string with a pair of uh, square brackets and then we have args args and then here we have again a uh, flower bracket and then system dot out dot print ln and then we have hello world if I just save this by clicking on control s and if I just click on right click and say run hello sample main so it's going to tell something it's going to do some process and then here it is hello world so it's it's compiling from it shows the i you know the development environment which is jdk 1.8.0 and then here is our output expected output which is hello world now i now i want to give you a quick option you know like a kind of like a challenge how how would you go about how would you go about uh, displaying the city in which you live in maybe if you live in Los Angeles Los Angeles if you wish to uh, type whatever how do you how do you change that uh, hello world to the text that you want to display maybe you want to display your name how do you do that go and try it quickly okay so did you did you try it maybe I think you would have gotten this all you need to do is just replace the text maybe you want to type it in maybe I want to type my name Rakshat Vasudev so that's it if you just change it over there it's going to be changed completely uh, when it displays and uh, let's just try running it once again you see this this is the text it's printing out now so let me give you what this is system dot out dot print ln is a command from now that you should remember that is used for printing out the value while public static void main is called as a method don't get worried or confused when I say all these new uh, buzzwords it's just called as a method string arcs are called as parameters to the method and uh, hello sample is a class it's sufficient if you just know about all these at this point and as we proceed further we'll get to have a better idea of what each one of them do